Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Spencer Walter, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, while January is quickly winding down, college visits will start up next month. Stay on top of upcoming college visits by checking with the Counseling Center in person or visiting their website. Here are the visits scheduled for February. The Tulsa Welding School will join us on February 6th. Then the reps from UCCS will return on February 7th. Likewise, the reps from Colorado Mesa University will be back on February 20th. And Fort Hayes State just scheduled a visit for February 21st. March visits bring us Adams State on the 7th. And April visits kick off with Western Colorado University on April 17th. Remember you need a pass to attend these college visits and you can get those passes in the counseling center. Seniors, here's some news you can use. If you don't have your class shirt yet, you still have a chance to get one. They are available for $15 in the counseling center, but quantities and sizes are limited. In case you haven't heard the date change, the senior panoramic is now scheduled for February 5th instead of the 13th. Buy your shirt now so you can wear it for the picture. The panoramic is scheduled for 7.15 a.m. Those of you planning to apply for Fountain Valley Scholar Scholarship should get your applications ready right now because the deadline is next Friday, February 1st. On the other hand, if you are short on credits for graduation because you dropped the ball in your classes, the next session of credit recovery is open for registration. The deadline to register is February 6th, and the spring session starts on February 11th with the orientation and pre-testing in Lab 153 at 3.30. You can take up to two classes per session, and the tuition is $100 per course. See your counselor for more information and details. Glads, it's time to start selecting your classes for next year, and some of those classes require applications. For example, come join us here on the KWHS staff by picking up your application in room 102 for Mrs. New. If she is not available, applications are also on the door. Those of you who are interested in joining the yearbook staff, pick up those applications from Ms. Kennedy in room 104 or get one from her door. Both the KWHS and yearbook applications are due next Tuesday, January 29th. If you are interested in becoming a teacher in the future, check with Miss Ship in room 202 for an application for the Teacher Cadet Program. You can also get an application in the Counseling Center. Those applications are due this afternoon by 3 p.m. Keep in mind that all the schedule cards are due back to the Counseling Center by next Friday, February 1st. Juniors, if you want to take classes at PPCC next year through the Career Start Program, you need to sign up in the Counseling Center today. For more information about the program, check in with the Counseling Center. When we return from the break, we will have information on the SAT PSAT test prep sessions, which started yesterday. But first, we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Jeremiah Jones. Happy Friday morning, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Student Appreciation Day is quickly approaching on February 2nd at 2 p.m. at Clune Arena. Come watch the Air Force Academy Falcons take on the CSU Rams. Tickets for the students are just $5, and adults are $7. Visit this website and use the promo code STUDENT to get your tickets. Attention NJRTC cadets. The military ball is planned for March 16th and it will be here before you know it. If you are bringing an outside guest, you can pick up those forms in the main office. They are due on Friday, February 22nd. We will have more information on the ball later. Our forensics team traveled to La Junta last week and returned with some strong finishes. Here's how they did. In extent speaking, Casey Ringer placed third, while Taya Andrews earned a fifth place spot in the same category. Sophie Berger clinched fourth place in original oratory and in program oral interpretation, Katrina Stevenson nabbed a fifth place finish. Rounding out the tournament, Casey Ringer and Taya Andrews teamed up for a fourth place finish in public forum debate. Congratulations to all our forensics competitors. The team is headed to Pueblo this weekend. Best of luck to them all. Before we get into the basketball scores from the WSD3 showdown last night, we'd like to extend a hearty congratulations to Aaliyah Ricketts. On Saturday, she was given a trophy for earning her 1,000th point in basketball. Her plaque is in Bowers Gym. Way to go, Aaliyah! Alright, man oh man. Bowers Gym was the place to be last night as both our girls and boys basketball teams took on the Purple School in the WSD3 showdown. Here's how each team finished. Our Lady Glads fought to the final buzzer but, but couldn't sink those last baskets and took a tough loss. The ladies are on the road tonight in Canyon City to play the Tigers at 7pm. They would appreciate your support if you can make it out. Our boys basketball team lit up the house last night against the Purple School beating the Grizzlies. It was a fiery game with many lead changes along the 
away, but ultimately the good guys won. Way to play, fellas. The boys are back on our home court tonight against the Canaan City Tigers at 7 p.m. Come cheer on the boys as they work to add another W to their record. Our ladies swim team was in the pool at the Trojan Invite at Fountain Fort Carson this past weekend and the ladies are tuned in. They captured 29 personal records and finished 10th out of 18 teams. The ladies returned to their home waters last night for a varsity meet and sank the Trojans. The ladies are headed to Palmer High School tomorrow for a dual meet. In wrestling news, congratulations to Avelino Mota, who took an individual title at the Metro League match over the weekend. Glads, the band department is selling bleacher seats so our tushies can have more comfortable experience at Bowers and Foster Stadiums. Check this out. The seats have a hard plastic back with replaceable padding, a carrying strap, they are adjustable, and they have a zipper pocket. But wait, there's more. The seats also have the Charlie logo on the back. And get this, the cost for the seats is reasonable, $25 for one or $40 for two. Catch the pep band at all home games to buy your stadium seat. Your tushy will thank you. And while we're talking about the band, be sure to save this date, February 11th. That's when our WHS brass quintet and jazz bands will join forces with stellar brass the Air Force Academy Bands Brass Quintet for a concert at 7 p.m. The show will be in the WHS Auditorium and it is a free event. Come celebrate a night of amazing music. And finally, because of the snow day, we will have Damon's dose of health next week when Mr. Damon will talk to us about getting outside. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Have a great weekend. Now back to the news desk with Corinne and Spencer. Thanks for the update, Jeremiah. Ladies, if you need a dress for the military ball or for the winter formal, you should check out Becca's Closet. They have many new dresses in all sizes and styles and would love for you to come pick one out. You need to have an appointment. See Miss Ford in room 122 or Miss HK in the library. Remember, the dresses are free and yours to keep. Corinne, did you say winter formal? I did, Spencer, but I don't have all the details. Can you help? Indeed I can. Glads, remember how Justin Timberlake brought sexy back? Well, listen up, because NHS is doing one better. That's right, NHS is bringing back winter homecoming. This semi-formal dance will be on Friday, February 15th. Starting next Friday, you can buy your tickets in the business office for $5 in advance. If you wait, tickets to the door will cost you $10. Students in all grades will be eligible for the winter court. Stay tuned for more information. And now, here's Miss Betsy with the lunch menu for today. Happy Friday, everybody! Woohoo! Hey, today we're having nachos, and we got the good cheese back, the good orange cheddar, so you need to come down and have some nachos. And then on Monday, we're having baked chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. Yum, yum. Hey, listen, Mr. Bergen. I miss you. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to add money to your account by seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or going online. The Power Club will be having a meeting next Wednesday at lunch in room 130 with, with Miss Sardinia. If you would like to get involved but haven't attended a meeting, this would be a great time to show up. Glads, the first SAT PSAT test prep session started yesterday and they went well. If you missed this week's sessions, you can sign up for next week's session starting on Monday. Strong scores never hurt anyone, so why not give yourself a chance? The sessions available include reading, writing, math, test anxiety, and content boosts with Khan Academy. Teachers should have flyers posted in their rooms with the dates and content. Remember, although these sessions are voluntary, they really impact your test scores. So why not boost your scores, graduate on time, and get into the college of your choice? Best of all, the sessions are free! Finally, remember if you would like to recognize your teachers, you can fill out the reverse power cards in front of the attendance office, in the library, or in the counseling center. If you received power tickets, you can drop those off in the boxes in the same locations use the shiny silver boxes. That's all we have for you today, Glads. Have a great Friday. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Spencer Walter, and this was your KWHS News. We're headed to a Newsday field trip, so we will be back on Wednesday of next week.